Right, that's um, Holford Coombe going up there and over there, um, down through that way, that's Hodder's Coombe. Right over there are some tall trees, that's that old Fox and House area where those tall trees are. And then I'd be right over there. There's people walking along the lady, Lady's Edge track along the top there. That would take you out to Bickernola Post, which is right over there. I might end up coming down that way later. I've just met a nice lady with two Jack Russells, who's also exploring the area. I know she's moved back here, but she wasn't quite sure of different places either. Um, this is just a normal wood, apparently. I think the big wood is going to be further up. <sighs> it's the last week, our last few days for some children. I think they've got the, I think they actually have got all this week off. And then they go back to school next week, I think. <sighs> I've seen a couple of families with their children with their bikes. <sighs> Look at that though. That's the beautiful all down there. That's all the coombs down there where all the fords meet. <sighs> yeah, she, she comes from Nether Stowe. She didn't seem to know about the, death, the stags and the rutting season though. But, um... That's another month yet, really, before they really get going, but they will be gathering the stags. <sighs> Getting their pecking order sorted, ready for the fight to pick the, the does for their harem. Over there, we've got Hinkley Point. Which is a huge landmark now, isn't it? Nobody really knows what's happening out there, though. One minute they stop work. They lay off the contractors. People are even talking about it being a folly now. Over there we've got um, Steep Home Island, which I went to in 2012. And Flat Home Island, which I also went to in 2012. The Bristol Channel, going up to Bristol and then... Wells over there, then leading out to the Atlantic Ocean. I think I've been down here, not up this particular one, but because Higher Hair Nap is over there. That could be Higher Hair Nap up there. That, that, um, that hill over there, I think that's Higher Hair Nap. Yeah, it is. I've done that twice last year. I've been up it and down it. Yeah, I've done all that track last year. Then, of course, you've got Holford Coombe going up there. Then it splits. Then what eventually happens, you've got these main trunk area tracks, which all link up with a Macmillan Way that go all across the Quantox Exmoor all the way down Taunton area. But I'm still climbing up. Now I climbed up up like that a minute ago. I'm glad I did that actually. Because look, I've seen no path coming through here yet. So it was a good job that I did decide. Although look here. There is an old track, but I don't want to walk through, in the winter, yeah, you could probably branch off down there and go through that wood. I wouldn't do it now, it'd be snakes and ticks everywhere. <sighs> the aim today, the main aim today, is to get to that Dalsbruff ancient fort area. <sighs> Even if it means just getting there and walking back down. I'm getting higher and higher. Look. Of course, over there we've got um, we've got Kilv Beach and all that, which I've done. I, I've walked a lot of the coast three weeks ago, for a month ago. I was doing a lot of coastal walking, trying to mix it in with the um, Quantox. 
very soon, in the next week or so, I've got to do Dunkery Beacon because it's getting dark earlier now. Today, look, I was stuck in traffic jams. I really wanted to be over here for 10. I didn't get over here till 12. That's two hours. I'm two hours behind to allow for the light and everything. Because I'm a slow walker and I've got my breathing, wheezing and all that. <laughs> but the heather and the gorse look so lovely together, don't they? Right, we're coming up to... Um, I'm going to turn off and we're coming up in a minute to um, a carn. Over and out for now. I'm, I might put a stone on it for my sister Jude. Every time I get near a car and I put a stone on for the family anyway. Over and out. Right, I've placed a stone on the car. I expect it belonged to someone else, but it doesn't matter. This one looks like it wants to go back. Put that one up there. That's uh, my family, my friends, the world, and one for my sister Jude. And I expect all these people have placed... Now up there, I've just spotted a load of people on the hill. I'll just zoom in. That is, um, that's going to be Wood Hill, I think. And it seems to me, there's, look, look, there's people. And they're all looking down here as well. And it looks to me like, it even looks like there's like cars or something there. Loads of people though. And there's the path I've got to, there's the path. I've got to climb up that now. Hopefully they would have dispersed. Well, no, I, I can't blame people if they want to go out and herd. I'll just do a little bit of, um, take it off Zoom, Sheila, before you do any more. Take it off Zoom, girl. Right, so this is a really good place for views of Holford. Now in the past I've walked all the way through Holford Coombe there. Don't forget, Holford Coombe is further over, over that side. It brings you up, up, up over there at um, Bicanola. You've got big main tracks leading along beyond this hill here. I've been all the way through this which I didn't want to do today because I'm going up there. The idea is to go up there. Now, I'm not sure if that is Downsbury Fort. Somebody did say it's near a wood who I met earlier, but she wasn't quite sure. But they're, they're staring over here and they've been up there a while. So basically, I'll just do a little bit of videoing because this is so gorgeous, everyone. I've got to walk right up that big hill now. It's all very exciting, isn't it? I don't know, I must have come down through that hill, you know, before. Well, I came through, I think I've been through that wood when I walked from Nether Stowey once on the Coleridge Walk. I walked, or it could have been I followed around the edge, which tends to be Coleridge Moor. They tend, he, his walk tends to go round that way. Um... But this, this path's familiar. No, I think I did come on here. I think this must be the Coleridge Walk. Um, and I've got a feeling that is the Dowsbury, or Dowsborough, Hill Fort. I mean, it does look like it would have been a fort. It's high up. Um, whatever they're doing, there's a huge group of people up there, and they haven't, they're not really moving either. So I'm just doing a little, oh, isn't it beautiful, everyone? I'll, do, I'll have to turn off every now and again. Although I've got two cameras, I'm ki I'm using one at a time rather than just having both going because otherwise the batteries might go flat at the same time. So I've decided not to do that. Although if I wanted to be a donkey, I've got another camera I could just use for photos. A smaller one. But at the moment, I haven't really seen any pathway good pathway up from the coombe that I could have used if I carried on walking through. I'm actually glad that I've walked. I did that steep climb bit. I'm glad I've done that, you know. 
I'm really glad I done that. And we're going to make our way to the top, even though it's branching round. There's quite a big pathway that way. Quite a big pathway. But we'll go up. We'll go up the main path. There's another track there, look. Yeah, so normally once I've been up Holford Coombe there, I would get, get to Frog's Coombe. And um, then you, I get up, I climb out of that up onto the top there where there's main tracks. Um, but I, this is all, this part of, I haven't explored properly. I've been wanting to actually get over here. Because I know normally I'm over there, looking over here, taking photographs of that hill, thinking I need to do that hill and now I'm over here. Right, over and out, I'll take some more pictures.